on October 30th, His Majesty the Emperor attended the opening ceremony of the National Cultural Festival in Wakayama Prefecture with His Highness Masako online from the Imperial Palace, and gave a few words of encouragement. Their Majesties did not go out on private trips but solemnly went about their official duties and worried about the lives of the people," a reporter in charge of the imperial household said, The marriage of Mako and Komuro has caused an uproar throughout Japan, but I think that the activities of their majesties should have attracted more attention. I can't say that the case of Mr. Komuro has had a positive impact on the imperial family, however, along with the words of their majesties, there was some positive news for the imperial family, the date for Aiko's coming of age ceremony has been announced. On December 1st, Aiko will finally celebrate her 20th birthday, ostensibly. However, this day, December 1st, is a week and she has university classes, so her coming of age ceremony will be held on a Sunday, December 5th. This is a four-day delay from my birthday, it seems unnatural, there is a serious reason for this, they say. November 30th is the 56th birthday of Prince Akishino. At the press conference held on the occasion of his birthday, he is expected to be asked questions about Mako's marriage, and there is a possibility that the topic will remain a hot topic until Aiko's birthday the next day. I think that the Kunai agency is also thinking that they want to have Prince Akashino firmly put an end to the Mako fiasco and switch Aiko to the leading role of the Imperial family. On the day of the ceremony, Aiko will visit the three halls of the Imperial Palace in the morning, where the ancestors of the Imperial family are worshipped, and then receive the Grand Cordon of the Order of the Precious Crown from His Majesty the Emperor at the Palace. It is said that Aiko has already mastered the attitude of an adult member of the imperial family, which was taught to her by their majesties. According to a kunai agency official, their majesties have already instructed Aiko on the attitude of an adult member of the imperial family. The emperor and his family moved from the Akasaka Palace to the imperial palace in September, and they stayed at the palace while they were moving. On the last day of their stay, their majesties showed Aiko around the Pine Room, Toyomaiden, and other rooms of the palace, which she will visit for events and ceremonies in the future. They also took the time to explain to her the ceremonial manners and other aspects of the ceremony. As a rule, the royal family gives priority to academic studies and it is customary for them to engage in the fledged official duties after graduating from university. However, I would like Heiko to attend to her official duties as soon as possible. It is said that there are many such voices inside the kunai office. Public sentiment is divided over the marriage of Mako and Kamuro, and the relationship of trust between the imperial family and the people has been greatly shaken. Mako who was the oldest of the royal family, had a wide range of official duties, including five official visits to Japan and overseas. Mako's departure from the imperial family is a considerable blow to the imperial family. If Aiko becomes an adult member of the imperial family and demonstrates her presence by taking charge of official duties, the people's respect for her will increase again, even for their majesties nature cannot be defied. The spread of infectious diseases has led to unexpected situations. A visit to the United Kingdom scheduled for May 2020 has been postponed and has not yet been realized. The Queen's visit to the United Kingdom in May 2020 has been postponed and has not yet been realized. Queen Elizabeth, who is 95 years old, has recently started to use a cane during her official duties raising concerns about her health. The first thing to do is to resume her visits to the provinces in Japan, but I think their majesties would like to make a visit to England as soon as possible. In the summer vacation of her second year of high school, she attended a dinner with foreign dignitaries and spoke in English. 
During the summer vacation of her sophomore year in high school, she also studied abroad for a short time at the prestigious private Eton School in England. It will be very meaningful for both of our peoples if I go visit England with their majesties, said Kim Izuka, a professor at Kandogakuin University who is an expert on European royal families. The royal family has a lot to learn from the British royal family. For example, Princess Anne of the United Kingdom, who is the first princess of Queen Elizabeth, a position similar to that of an icon, became the president of the NGO Save the Children at the age of 20. At the age of 20, she became the president of the NGO Save the Children, which started in England with the idea of helping children around the world suffering from poverty and hunger. Princess Anne herself has traveled around the world for more than half a century. She has also been a patron of more than 350 other organizations. I think it would be a good idea for Iko to be actively involved in a number of organizations, such as social welfare, the arts, environmental protection, and sports promotion, by serving as their president. Like the royal families in Europe, it is also important for the Japanese imperial family to actively utilize social networking sites to inform the public about their activities. If the content of her activities becomes known, support for the imperial family will expand, and there will be a greater demand for Aiko to remain in the imperial family. Aiko's deepening exchange with the British royal family will be a big plus for her future activities as a member of the imperial family. What can I say? The imperial family of Japan is facing the crisis of many citizens leaving the imperial family because of the disturbances between Mako and Kamaro. Is the rebirth of the imperial family being entrusted to Aiko, who is now 20 years old?